Hello, you're welcome to this section of our project. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can create a repository in Amazon Elastic Container Registry. In my AWS Management Console, I'm already in the service, but I would like to show you how you can locate this service. So just at the search bar here, all you need to do is to type ECR. And this is Elastic Container Registry. Click on it. And this is it here. So I'll click on get started. And over here, the visibility setting should remain private. I would like this to be a private repository. And here I will give it a name. ECR repo. All right. And if I scroll down, this is actually all I need to do here. All I need to do now is to click on create repository. Awesome. So this repo has been created. You can see this is the URI, creation dates, and other information. So I can click on view push command and you'll see that we actually have some instructions on how we can log into our repo build image. We've actually built image so we won't be carrying out this step. So we'll tag the image and then we'll push it. But actually before we can log in to our repository from our terminal, we need to create a, a permission. So we need to create a row and attach a permission before the, the before this step. So I'll take you over to AWS IAM and let's create a row. So over here, all I need to do under rows, just come to I am and click on rows and you'll see create row button. Just click on create row. So the trusted identity type is AWS service is fine. Under use case, just select EC2 and then click next. And under permission policies, just type administrator, press enter. Great. And let's look for administrator access. This administrator access here, just check this box. Okay. Please, if this is production, ensure that you're using the principle of least privilege, okay? So you don't give more permission that, than it is required. So all I need to do right now is to click on next. And I'll give this row a name. I'll name it um, ECR row. It's the arrow one, that is fine. And that is pretty much all I need to do here. And I'll just click create row. Awesome, so this row has been created for us. This is how to create a repository and assign the necessary permission to it. So that is it for this video. In our next video, I will show you how you can create access key and use that to configure because yeah, we actually need some authentication before we go ahead into logging in, tagging and pushing our image to ECR. Okay. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much and bye for now.